Das ist ja genießt sich. Ja, ich hab Hunger. Das ist ja genießt sich. Ja, ich hab Hunger. Das ist ja genießt sich. Ja, ich hab Hunger. See you. Goodbye. See you. Good kids. Now I want to talk today about something that I really believe in. <laughs> See, I am a very firm believer in the motivational power of accountability. I told you before that I used to be a bigger guy. I wasn't like fat or anything, but I was definitely bigger. And I had tried dieting and exercise plans in the past, and none of it really stuck. Until about five years ago, when I did manage to uh, diet and exercise, and I lost like 20 kilograms. Now what was different between that time and every other time I'd tried it in the past? There's really just one simple thing that made the difference that time five years ago, and that was I told someone I was going to diet and exercise and lose weight. And that person was my girlfriend at the time, but who it is is really irrelevant. You see, humans are social creatures. It, one of the things that separates us from most of the other species on Earth is our desire and want and need to be accepted and loved by the people around us. Now, some people feel this need more than others, but I think pretty much every human on Earth feels it to some degree. Everyone just has this innate, natural desire to be accepted by their peers. And likewise, we all have this fear of being judged negatively by those around us. I know this looks like a strip show, but I'm just changing into my workout clothes. So that person that I told that I was going to diet and exercise to lose weight back five years ago was my girlfriend at the time, but honestly, who you tell is really not important. It's irrelevant to the whole thing. The important thing is you're telling someone, and by the very act of telling someone, you are therefore making yourself accountable for your actions, for what you do. Even though I know in my heart of hearts that whether I succeed or fail at losing weight, it's not really going to change how that person thinks about me. The important part is I made that mental switch in my head. Every time before then, it was just me trying to do something, and nobody knew about it, it was just me pushing against myself. But now that I had told someone, I had that fear that fear of being negatively judged in my head if I had failed. Even though I knew I wasn't going to actually be negatively judged, it's still there in the back of my mind. She knows that I'm trying to do this, and if I don't succeed, it's gonna reflect negatively on me. And it turned out that one little detail made all the difference. Five months later, I was 20 kilograms lighter. That's like 40 pounds for those of you in the States. And I managed to pretty much maintain that weight for a long time, except as you guys know, it's been creeping back up on me now. So the whole reason I'm telling you this story at all is because I want to explain to you guys why I'm even showing my exercise on the vlog at all. Because see, now I am accountable to all of you. And if I miss my running for a day, I'm gonna know that you guys know about it. And that's gonna make me feel bad. So that's just gonna be all the more motivation for me to keep on running. Keep on losing that weight. Keep on exercising. And I encourage all of you too, if there is something that you have been trying to do, it's January 21st today, if you're slipping on that New Year's resolution, tell someone about it. Tell your partner, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers. The more people you tell, the better, because that's more people that you're accountable to. And if they're a good friend, of course, they're not gonna care. You know, they might bust your chops about it a little bit if you don't follow through, but it's not gonna affect how, they, how much they like you. But that internal difference in your mind is going to make a huge difference, I promise you. Give it a shot. All right. Couch to 5K, week one, day three. Here we go. Great run. I hope I didn't come off as sounding too preachy earlier. 
I just wanted to get my point across.